Okay, after we've uh, excavated the site, and now we're ready to put in the foundation. Um, and you'll see right here, I've already uh, started. And what we're going to do is put in a, uh, a stem wall and a, a continuous footing uh, for this particular wood frame building. Uh, as I talked about in class, this is one of the options uh, other than slab on grade that one might do. So I'm going to close that. Uh, and so let's put in the, the stem wall that I've already put in there. And what we're going to do is go into architecture and walls and into structural walls. Okay. And you'll see a whole series of different walls that are defaulted into here. Um, we're going to, I, what I did is I came in here, I want this wall to be eight, eight inches. All I need is an eight inch wall. So what I did is I created an eight inch wall. And if you look at that type, you're going to see that it's a stru uh, the structure of it is just a simple eight inch structure right here. Okay. Uh, I chose cast in place concrete as a material. So cast in place concrete as a material. And then it set the thickness or width of it to eight inches. Uh, here it's been set its function's been set to as an exterior wall and then uh, its graphics uh, will show a coarse scale pattern of concrete and then a coarse scale feel of uh, of black and so anyway so that that's already been created for you and so let's go in and let's put that wall in so we're going to use once again our top of footing uh, view to do that and we'll, and I notice I clicked on it made it active and we're ready to put a wall in uh, we're going to set the settings here so we want this to go the base constraint to be well first of all we want to we want to set this by height okay and it's going to give me an error statement because these settings are wrong uh, for height and so I want to cut start with the base top of the footing and then I want to go up okay to the top of the stem wall. If we look at our little section right here, you'll see that's a, that's a situation that I created here. In other words, it's going to go from the top of the footing level up to the stem wall level. And then we're going to put a, found, a, a footing underneath it. Okay, so let's go back to our top of footing and uh, lost my command now but I'll bring it back so we're doing a height from once again the top of the footing uh, to the top of the stem wall and so I should be able to just now click in here on the uh, joint notice that it's being drawn to the center line and that's not what I want I want it to be drawn to one side or the other so I'm going to hit escape on that and I forgot to set the uh, wall location. So I'm going to set it to the outside uh, core face exterior. Okay. And then let's try it again. Let's see if we can make it happen this time. Okay. It's on the wrong side in this case because of the direction I'm going. So all I'm going to do is hit the space bar. And, that, and that's going to flip it over. So the space bar will just flip it to the other side of the line that I'm drawing. Okay. I'm going to go out here. And then I'm going to draw that, and it's in chain command, so I'm just going to hit escape, and that should end that. And you'll notice that the two stem walls have been connected. What you're seeing right here is the top of the footing. Okay, notice when I selected it, we're seeing the top of the footing, and right here is the stem wall. Uh, now, I've got, I got another wall section in here, and this wall section is called uh, 5. So let's open that up real quick. Or do I have, already have it open? No, I don't. So I'm going to uh, scroll down here. Probably should make this so y'all can see it a little bit better. Okay. Uh, reduces my drawing area. But I'm going to scroll down here to my... Uh, wall sections right here and open up wall section G five and you can see now I have my stem wall so now we want to add a footing to this um, 
as we talked about before, here's the stem wall, and we want to add that footing. Okay, uh, and let's look at our section here. You can see we got a stem wall, but now we need the footing. And so to do that, what we're going to do is uh, go into architecture, I mean structure, and we're going to go into these series of uh, foundations. Okay, and you can see a slab, uh, a slab on grade. Uh, or off grade to, and then a continuous footing, and then what we call an isolated or a spot footing. Okay, we want to do a continuous footing, so we're going to click on continuous footing. Okay, and then we need to select uh, the size of our footing. Uh, the size that we need is 12 inches, 12 inches depth, and only 24 inches wide. Okay, uh, half of it being on one side and half of it being on the other. And so um, you'll see that I've already created in your file a bearing footing of 24 inches by 12 inches. Okay. And how I created that was that I opened up an existing footing. Okay. We'll just go through it. We'll edit the type. Okay. And then I duplicated uh, that particular bearing footing, renamed it. Uh, 24 by 12 okay I'll just create another one we'll call it uh, I don't know um, 30 inch by 12 and then uh, of course it'll be 30 inches here instead of and uh, it'll be one inch one foot thick uh, and default end extension zero. Uh, the material or structural system is gray cast in place concrete. And we would say okay to that. And then it would give us a 30 inch by 12 inch. But that's not what we want. We want the 24 by 12. So I'm going to then, all I have to do, since it assumes that the foundation would be attached to the bottom of that uh, foundation wall, uh, when we click on that, it's going to automatically add that foundation in, and you can see it add now to our uh, wall section here. Okay, so as we cut it right here, we can see. Now you don't see portions of it right here because we're up at the stem wall, and the topography is blocking you from seeing that. If we go to the footing, though, uh, structural footing plan, I think that's right here. Okay, we'll see it because the topology surface has been uh, uh, is hidden from us and removed okay so you can see now we've completed it so uh, in your uh, file you won't have uh, the three existing ones walls and footings so you'll have to do all four of them uh, good luck